हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस वीडियो ऑन एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ नैरो बैंड नॉइज सो हेयर इन दिस वीडियो विल मैथमेटिकली एनालाइज द पावर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी ऑफ द नैरो बैंड नॉइज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट इन द रिसीवर द फिल्टर इज प्रेजेंट विच इज फिल्टरिंग आउट द फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स विच आर सेंटर्ड अराउंड एफ सी एंड माइनस एफ सी सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द रिसीवर this is the bandpass filter present in the receiver so the bandpass filter is centered around fc and minus fc so this is minus fc minus fc plus w minus fc minus w fc plus w fc minus w and the amplitude is 1 and this is h of f so this is the impulse response of the bandpass filters or this is the bandpass filter now if i talk about the output power spectral density i am representing it with sof it is equal to hf square into s input f so this is the property of the power spectral density so now what is the s input f in input i'll be having the frequency which is varying from minus infinity to infinity so here i'll be having the continuous noise of n not by 2 amplitude so now when these two are multiplied i'll be getting s output f so again i'll be plotting it so s output f has the frequency components only centered around fc and minus fc so here it is fc plus w fc minus w this is minus fc plus w minus fc minus w and now the amplitude because one is multiplied with n not by 2 so here i'll be having n not by 2 this is my s output f so now i hope you understood how i can represent the output power spectral density so now if i represent it so the output power spectral density would be equal to n not by 2 for f minus w less than equal to mod of f less than equal to f plus w where it is zero for other values of frequency so i am writing it otherwise so now i hope you understood how i found out the output power spectral density the output power spectral density can be found out using this important property of the power spectral density i have already discussed this property of the power spectral density in one of my previous video so this s output f is equal to hf square into s input f so this was hf this is s input f i'll multiply both of them here i'll be getting this s output f now if i need to analyze the autocorrelation function so rx tau would be given as inverse fourier transform of sx f or i can say sx f is the fourier transform of rx tau so this is the property so now according to this property i can find out the autocorrelation function so here i need to find out the inverse fourier transform of these two rectangular pulses so i know the rectangular pulse has the inverse fourier transform which is related to its its width and height so the width is 2w and height is and not by 2 so if i talk about this single pulse so here if i am taking this rectangular pulse of 2w and height and not by 2 so here this is s dash of f so now its inverse fourier transform would be equal to and not omega into sync 2 omega tau so now this is the 
इनवर्स फोर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस रेक्ट पल्स नाउ वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम शिफ्टिंग दिस रेक्ट पल्स एट एफ सी एंड एट माइनस एफ सी सो आई बी यूजिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट प्रॉपर्टी सो हेयर दिस इज माई इनवर्स फोर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म सो एन नॉट ओमेगा सिंक टू ओमेगा टाओ इज मल्टीप्लाइड विद ई रेस टू पार माइनस जे ओमेगा सी टाओ प्लस ई रेस टू पार जे ओमेगा सी टाओ सो नाउ आई हैव शिफ्टेड इट इन द पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन एंड द नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन एंड आई हैव यूज द फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट प्रॉपर्टी और ऑफ द इनवर्स फोर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म सो दिस इज माई आर एक्स टाओ सो नाउ हाउ आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस आर एक्स टाओ सो नाउ आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट एन नॉट ओमेगा सिंक टू ओमेगा टाओ इन टू सो हेयर आई एल मल्टीप्लाई विथ टू एंड हेयर आई एल बी डिवाइडिंग बाय टू सो ई रेस टू पार माइनस जे ओमेगा सी टाओ ई रेस टू पार जे ओमेगा सी टाओ नाउ हेयर आई एम डिवाइडिंग बाय टू सो नाउ दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग माई कॉज आई नो दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द कॉज सो आर एक्स टाओ इज इक्वल टू टू एंड नॉट ओमेगा सिंक टू ओमेगा टाओ इन टू दिस इज कॉस ओमेगा सी टाओ सो दिस इज माई ऑटो को रिलेशन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस आउटपुट पावर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी सो आई होप नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड इट वेरी वेल नाउ इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इन द लास्ट प्रॉपर्टी आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द पावर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी ऑफ इन फेस कॉम्पोनेंट एस आई एफ and the power spectral density of the quadrature component sqf so it was equal to s output f minus fc plus s output f plus fc when f was in between minus omega to omega and it was zero otherwise so this was the last property so according to the last property now i'll find out what is the power spectral density of in phase component and quadrature component i know the power spectral density of output so this is the power spectral density of output so here i'll be representing it again so this is so this is my s output f now what i need s output f minus fc so now i am shifting by plus fc so what will happen if i shift this signal by plus fc so this signal will come at zero so here i'll be having this signal and this signal will go to 2 fc so now similarly i i can find out the this was s output f minus fc similarly i can find out s output f plus fc so now here i'll be having the shifting at minus fc so here if i do the shifting at minus fc this component will come at zero so now this component will go at minus 2 fc so this was f so now i just need to add both of them so if i add these two what i'll get so this is f here i'll get the signal here here and here so this is so now what was the amplitude the amplitude was n not by 2 here also the amplitude would be n not by 2 here also the amplitude would be n not by 2 but when these two are added this and this was added so here the amplitude would be n not so this is si f is equal to sq f so now here this is centered around 0 this is centered around 2 fc and this is centered around minus 2 fc now if i talk about the power spectral density of in phase and quadrature component the first property in my last video was stating that it is a slow varying low frequency signal so fc is a very high value so 2 fc would be very high value similarly 
माइनस टू एफ सी वुड बी वेरी हाई वैल्यू दिस एंड दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी वुड बी वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड इन इन फेस एंड क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट दीज टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज वुड नॉट बी प्रेजेंट सो आई जस्ट बी हैविंग दिस सिग्नल सो नाउ हाउ आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट सो एस आई एफ इज इक्वल टू एस क्यू एफ इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज एन वेन इट इज हैविंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इन बिटवीन माइनस ओमेगा टू ओमेगा एंड इट इज जीरो अदरवाइज so now i'll be talking about the colored noise so till here if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i'll try to resolve it so colored noise is a noise which is affecting very narrow frequency range so so i I hope you understood what is colored noise. Colored noise is a noise. It's a special type of narrow band noise which is affecting very narrow frequency range. So it it would be having the same analysis only the frequency range would be very narrow. So I hope you understood each and everything which I discussed here. Still, if you have doubt, I already said you can put the doubt in the comment or you can mail me. And so stay tuned for the next video. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and push the like button. Thank you.